want to start. Hey, Shalawam, Shalawam, Shalawam. Yeah, we're out here once again, you know, to prophesy the downfall of Babylon, the downfall of this wicked kingdom, you know. And, you know, we're getting closer every day, every day, but first and foremost, we'd like to give our praises to the Most High. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukah, Our double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught us this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth. You know, pushing this gospel in truth and sincerity, risking their lives, okay? Hold on strong, you know, this is the year of hastening the truth, um, hastening the coming of Yahab Hashem Yahushai. So, you know, according to the scriptures, we are expecting our salvation, okay? So those who really put their trust in the Most High Yahab Hashem Yahushai are going to be looking up to His coming, okay? So as we can see, there are a lot of things happening lately, you know? You don't really need to be a genius to understand what's going on in the world, you know. Just turn on the TV or go to some social media, media. You can see that there are lots of things happening in this world right now. And you can see that, you know, it all fits perfectly with the, with the, with the prophecies of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai during the time of his coming. Okay. Most especially the book of, um, is it the book of um, Matthew 24, you know. It gives you things, signs of things that are going to happen. And we can see nations are beginning to divide amongst themselves. We can see um, that Poland just left the EU. They're having some issues. Okay, we're seeing lots of things happening, you know. Where people are beginning to see more, more clearly that, you know, America is Babylon the Great. People are beginning to see the man of sin, you know, as regarding to the second book of Thessalonians chapter 2. You know, it's being reviewed every day and every day. So over here in Italy, you know, they just made their wicked decrees, you know. They made their wicked decree. What's that scripture that says, um, woe to, um, wo wo to them that make wicked decree? Um, so, you know, they're making all wicked decrees. If you can get it out, Baba Kusha. Okay. Read out. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 1. Woe unto thee that decree unrighteous decree, and that right grievous grievousness which they have prescribed. Can you see these people? They are actually making on they are making unrighteous decrees, and they, they they are known for all these things right from time, you know. But you really need the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai to dwell in you to open your eyes in order to understand these things. Their decrees are grievous. Their decrees are unrighteous. Their decrees are wickedness, you know. There's the scripture that tells you that when the, when the wicked are in power, you know, just paraphrasing, when the wicked are in power, you know, the people mourn it, you know. And all over the world, people are mourning, you know. Like over here, we're having um, all different kinds of, um, of protests, you know. People fighting against each other, you know. They, Esau, Esau actually did a good job in, in dividing the society into two, you know. Going back to the old times of fascism, you know. Even now, it's even worse. So these people are the wicked, you know, they're being revealed, you know. So those who really have the eyes, whom the word Most High Yahab Hashem Yahushai has opened their eyes, they can see these things, you know. But to those who cannot see, you know, it's been given, according to the book of Romans 8, you know. If you want to bring it out, you know, that he has given them eyes that they can't see. There is also Isaiah that, that speaks about that thing, you know. Some yeah. people now, they can't really see what's going on, you know. Why many other people, they are woken to these things. And mind you, these children of this world, you know, the so-called Edomites, they are, they, are, they are so way much wiser than the sons of Israel. Because the sons of Israel are going, going, going after all different things, you know. Now people are finding opportunities in getting jobs that never, they never got in their life, you know. This is foolishness from Jake. In which the scripture lets you know that um, the, the, the children of this world in their generation are wiser than the children of light. These people are way wiser than the children of light because the children of light they find this opportunity now to go after some, some careers, no? Instead of looking for the most high Yahab Hashem Yahushai, instead of redeeming the time and understanding what's going on, you know? Please read. So, this is Isaiah chapter 6, verse 9. And he said, And he said, Go and tell these people, Hear you indeed, but understand not. Can. These people they hear, but they don't understand. And why don't they understand? They don't ask from the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, just like the book of James 1.4 tells you. 
If any man lacketh wisdom or knowledge, let him ask from the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, and shall be given unto him. You yeah, know, yeah, but yeah. these people they don't ask, they don't seek, they don't even want to know. Go on. And see you indeed, but perceive not. Can they see, but they perceive not? You know. Is it not written that the wisdom and knowledge of this world is foolishness unto the most high? That's the book of 1 Corinthians, you know? The wisdom and knowledge of this world is foolishness unto the most high, but our people, they respect those who have the so-called degrees in these universities, in which these universities are, are, are nothing but, you know, brainwashing, man. You know? I remember when I was in school back then, you know? When I was in school, you know, I would get confused over certain things, you know? For example, they were teaching about the, the pH scale of food, you know. And in school, they used to tell us on the pH scale, if you look at the pH scale, you find lemon to be on number 10 of alkaline, towards the side of alkaline, okay. But yet, they'll tell you lemon is acidic, you know. So these things were always confusing to us, you know. These schools are nothing but, you know, ways to capture your brain. They don't teach you how to think. They teach you... They teach you to think the way they want you to think, man. They actually teach you and build you for their society, you know. But those who are wise, they seek from the book of the law. This is where wisdom, knowledge, and understanding lies, you know. I was speaking to my, I, I have two younger sisters in the UK. I was speaking to them last week. Can you imagine what they were telling me, you know. So I was speaking to one of them, you know. I was asking what, because I, I usually ask them what they're teaching them in school, you know. So they, they told me that they're actually teaching them about um, Greek gods, okay? So they told them, they gave them an assignment, they told them to write a letter to, to Zeus, making some wishes from Zeus. Look how wicked these people are, you know? And the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai needs to come and take us out of this place, man. This is not the place to raise your children. You know, I was having a conversation with the brothers um, from, from, from the Holland camp during the week, you know? And the brother actually went to, to take his child, his son, to the school and he saw the, the, the flag of the LGBT or whatever, the alphabet people, you know. And this place is really destroyed, man. They are trying to, you know, destroy your children right from, from, from child. This is wickedness, you know. So the Most High Yehaba Hashem Yahushai needs to come and destroy this place, man. Because this place is of no good anymore. And those who can't see this thing, just like the brother read from the book of Romans, they've been blinded so they can't see, from the book of Isaiah, sorry. They've been blinded so they can't see, and they've been deafened so they can't hear. This is Isaiah 30 verse 1. Woe unto the rebellious children, says the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me. Can. Woe unto the rebellious children that take counsel, but not of me. You want to speak on it? Yeah, it's just like what the brother is saying, you know, these days our people, they are, they, are, they, are, they are quick to do evil, you know, everybody wants to meet up, everybody wants to be, uh, uh, do the latest training, you know, so, like here in Italy, you know, uh, it's very difficult to get a job, you know, but right now at this thing, you know, what is going on now, so the job is very, very available to get, you know, our people are rushing in, you know, because this is a great opportunity for them, but, you know, just like the scripture says, woe unto them, woe unto the rebellious, uh, rebellious children, says the Lord, that take counsel but not of me. You know, this script, this truth has been going on, you know, it's all over the, the script, all over the world, according to Matthew 24, 14. This gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all inhabitants of the world, and the end shall come. So, I, when I was coming here in Italy, I didn't have this in mind that I was going to find this truth, but today, here I am, you know. So I also believe the same way I got this truth. If we all have internet, we all have phones in our hands. So this is a great opportunity, you know. So they have no excuse. But our people, they will know everything, you know. They know the latest trend, what is going on all over the world. But this truth, they can, they don't know it, you know. When you give them, when you try to tell them, this is look, look, this is this is this is the truth. This is what's going on. This is the reason why they are they are making up this uh, so-called uh, uh, pestilence, you know. But they won't listen, you know. Can but um, you're reading from the book of Isaiah 30, right? Yeah, Isaiah 30. The next chapter, you have a good precept from the first verse. Okay, you can yeah. keep reading when you. Yeah, finish. it's a word to the rebellious children, says the Lord, that take counsel but not of me, and that cover with a covering but not of my spirit, Can. that they may ask sin to sin. Can they? Mm -hmm. They have a sort of covering, 
but it's not as the covering of the Most High. Yeah. They put on, they put on beautiful vests, and they, they try to look like they try to look like Esau wearing ties and coming and speaking in a subtle way, you know, gently. And they are all motivational speakers, man. They don't have wow. any holiness in them, you know. That's the covering they try to have. Yeah. They are trying to have Esau's covering, Esau's covering, but they don't want the covering of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. And woe unto those children. Keep reading. Yeah. Verse two. Thy work to go down to Egypt and have not acts at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. Can. Just like the brother, just like the brother just said, you know, they have the opportunity with these um, devices. The Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai actually made them available for everybody in all parts of the world so as to get this truth according to the book of um, psalm 19 is it verse 4 you know that tells you about um, um the, the internet the unicorn yeah, you know yeah, yeah. the most High actually prepared all these things for That's our right. learning you know so he has made it possible that you know even in all these third world countries you know they have the opportunity to get these things but they don't seek the lord man yeah let me read it for you read go this this psalm 19 verse 3 there is no speech no language where their voice is not heard. No, you, you start from the verse earlier, please. Yeah. Okay. Start from two. Yes, yeah, start from two. Okay. This is Psalm 19, verse 2. Oh, let me start from one. Yeah, you can start from one. Okay. This, this is Psalm 19, verse 1. The heavens declare the glory of God. Can the heavens declare the glory of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai? Just that it's talking about the satellites in the heavens, you know. Go on. And the firmament showeth his handwork. Day unto day, utter speech and night, unto night showeth knowledge. Can. Can. There, there is no speech, no language where their voice is not heard. Okay, can. There is no speech, there is no language where their voices are not heard. Okay, this is the internet in which the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai has created, you know. He has given everybody the opportunity to get this truth in this time. So nobody would have the excuse. You can also get the precept from the second book of Ezra, chapter 6. Okay. Yeah, second book of Ezra, chapter 6. You start from verse 20. About Pasha. You know, so the Most High actually created all these things in order for us to get this truth. But certain people, they are blinded to this truth. Certain people, they don't care, just like the, 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 the parable of the seeds, man. Go on. This is Ezra chapter 6, verse 20. And when the word that shall begin to vanish away shall be punished, then we, I show thee tokens. The book shall be opened before the firmament, and man. they shall see all together. The book shall be opened before the firmament, okay? Are the books not opened before the firmament? Yes, the books are opened before the firmament. That's the, the information that you get from the internet, man. You know? The firmament, what's in the firmament? You have the, the satellite, you know? That gives us the provision of this internet. So now, people are looking for, just like the brother said, people are looking for opportunities to grab a piece of this Esau's kingdom right now that things are crumbling. Instead of there to look for the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, he start to seek to know what is going See? on. You know, so this is not the time. The scripture tells us there's time for everything. Yeah, you can even bring that scripture out. Yeah. You know, that's Ecclesiastical three, if I'm not three. You know, there is time for everything, man. You know, you know, the time to mess around is over, man. Yeah. This is the time. You know, this this um the um what did they say? It's the door of the door of mercy is closing, man. Yeah. Wait. So, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. You know, this is not the time for, you know, trying to get rich. Because, man, how can you be rich in a world that is full of chaos and mess? There's no peace. There's no, you know, look around the world. Everywhere is nothing but mess. Yeah, and Jake will tell you he's blessed. Yeah, so this is not the time for, you know, trying to be rich. This is the time to try to find out what is, what is really going on in our earth. You know, so I, uh, the other day I saw uh, uh, from uh, the prince, uh, was it, what was that in the prince William from, you know, okay. uh, uh, one of the sons. Phillips or so, I don't, yeah. I don't really know their names, man. Yeah. Does anyone the, 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 of, the, of the English royalty, man? Yeah, the grandson of uh, uh, Elizabeth, Elizabeth, too. So he was saying that right now we don't need a, 
Uh, no, he said that right now we need a great mind. We need a. a we need great minds, you know, you know to you know, solve the problem of the yeah, world. Yeah, in order to solve the problem, you know, because he, even he he acknowledged, you know, that there is a problem. But our people, our people, are, you know, they, they don't care. You know, they are they are busy looking for for you know for bread, you know, an opportunity in the midst of chaos. This is this is the minds of our people because I know them. I know I know how they reason. I know how they think. Because if as they tell you, man, opportunities come but once. <laughs> this is our saying, especially in uh, the, us that come from Nigeria. We always say things like this: opportunity come but once. But this is a great mess. Nigeria, like, I was talking to a brother. I remember the scene in uh, Titanic. You know, there were these two guys who were playing guitar. What is that called? That they were thing? playing music. They were playing the yeah. Up. Where the sick, this the ship is sinking. Everybody's running around trying to find look for a way to escape. But this. Two dumbass niggas, they were they are relaxed, they were playing, you know. This is the mindset of our people. You know? So why well, you have anything to say? Uh, you can go back to Isaiah 31 if you're done with Yeah, yeah, I'm not done. Okay, you can go to Isaiah 31, okay? Because this is not the time you should be putting your trust in these men. These people have Let nothing to offer. Eh? 31. Okay, this is Isaiah 31 verse 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Can. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Okay. Because Egypt, we know, is the land of bondage, you know. And the system itself, the beast system, you know, which is, you know, everything still under the Roman, ancient Roman system. Yep. You know, that's what is running in all parts of Europe. And let's just say in all parts of the world, because these people, they rule the world, man. You know. So people who are actually looking for opportunities in this kingdom right now, you know, to, to make some money, to, 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 to achieve some certain careers, to get to certain goals, you know, these people go on to you because you're going to Egypt for help. Keep reading. And stay on horses and trust in chariots. Can. They trust in their cars. Yep. They trust in, uh, in ESOS technology, in all the things that they've accumulated all these years, you know, and that's why Yahweh Shai says, it's going to be easier for a, for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man, you know? These people are rich, they're rich more than, more than they, can, they, can, they, can, they, can, they can think of. They have actually sought their own kingdom in this kingdom, in which the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai tells us to pray for the kingdom of, the, of peace to come, you know? But they found their comfort inside this mess. So the most, they don't need the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai to send the Son Yahushai to save them. They don't need any other kingdom that they're looking for. You know, they are blinded, they trust in their new Tesla cars, they trust in their, in their buildings and in their, in their investments. That's why the war fall and bow to Esau, you know, bound to his image now, taking Vanessa, and then they're going to take the mark of um, the Bismarck, you know? Yeah, and they're always showing their cars. Can. They're, they're wealthy. Their wealth, they, that's what they always show, man. And they do this to entice the rest of the people. Have we forgotten the book of... Um, have we forgotten the book of 1st Maccabees, you know, from chapter 1 from, from verse 4, you know, it tells you about some wicked Israelites who left the fold and they went to, to work for the enemies, you know. Yeah. This is the time you really need to, you know, to drop everything, man. Yeah, you know, Yahashai also said that, woe to you that are rich, can. you know, for you shall cry later. Can, can. You know, but this, this is what our people don't know. They have their consolation now, you know. Rather, sorry, you know, just that we're saying this before we go back to that. Let's just bring some, 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 some scripture regarding that. You know, that yep. um, yeah, what do you call it? Mm -hmm. um, you can't serve the Most High and Mammon, Mammon man. Yeah. What's that's the book of Matthew. Um, that's the book of Matthew six, six. nineteen. Six, yeah. Go to Matthew six nineteen. You know, because you can't serve the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai and serve Mammon. You can't serve the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai and go after riches of this kingdom, you know. The people are crazy, man. The people are blind. The most high has, you know, has purposely kept the blindness on these people so they can't see, man. So they will be entrapped with this. So the day when destruction comes, man, they will all be caught up in this destruction. Read. Yeah, this is Matthew chapter 6, verse 19. Lay not up for yourself treasures upon earth. We are mount and rust do corrupt. And we are thieves breakthrough and still can you can't lay up your treasures here on earth you know where where moths they corrupt and where thieves they steal you know there is no peace here and we're only going to get peace when Yahweh returns 
We tasted peace for 40 years during the reign of um, Solomon. And to those who have the spiritual knowledge to understand, Solomon is Yahweh Shai, yeah. you know? And he's coming back and to continue. And he's coming back his, again to his, continue that reign of peace, ship. man. So this is what it's all about. Our people don't know all these things, you know? Our people always, they know that something is wrong, but they don't want to, you know, seek the law, like, according to the scripture told us. You know, when you tell them that this scripture is actually our history, this is our history, this is, this is, this, all everything that pertains to this book is, is for us. It's written for us. This is our people. But, you know, they're stuck on stupidness because they always see the so-called white man is always above them. So this is the problem. The scripture told us that we should seek first the kingdom of heaven, or kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and every other thing shall be added unto us. But our people said no, they want to get it now. You know, I remember when I used to stay with my cousin. He told me that if I don't get money, what, what do I gain in this world? You know, so he was mocking at me that, I, you know, I, I'm poor, I don't have money. So what, what, what do I have to enjoy? He doesn't want to listen. You know, I keep telling him about it. He doesn't, he don't care. He say, you know, when I told, when I begin to talk to him about uh, 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 what, uh, the, the, the recompense concerning the wicked, you know, he now, he now remind me that I told him, in the past that there is uh, um, a bad recognition that if you die, he's going to come back. You know what he told me? He says, no problem. As long as he's making it now, if you die, he's going to come back. He's okay with that. <laughs> well, this is the mindset of my brother. <laughs> this is the mindset of somebody who just figured out that he is from a great people. You know, the creator of heaven and earth is actually his father. This is his mindset. There is no problem. If I die, I'm going to come back. There's no problem. Let me just make it now. You know, so I have a precept for you. You know, that's the book of um, Proverbs, chapter 8, verse 11. Okay, book of Proverbs, chapter 8, verse 11 quotes For wisdom is better than rubies, yeah. and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. Yeah. Wisdom dwells with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. Okay. For the fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the forward mouth do I hate. But the point is, wisdom is better than rupees and all the things that may be desired and not to be compared to it. Speak. Hmm? So as, as you say, just like the brother said, you know, he, he said, if, if I don't make money, what do I gain in this life? You know, that's what, that's the mindset of Jake, man. That's what Jake will tell you, you know. But the scriptures let us understand that, you know, these scriptures are more precious than gold and rubies. They are more precious than anything you can desire in this life, man. You know, because truly this, this, this truth, this, this knowledge is going to give you um, everlasting life and the true riches, you know. We're going to see the true riches when Yahweh Shai comes back. You know, we're going to have slaves, these so-called white men, devils, okay, who, are taking, who, are, who have taken us captives all these years. They're going to become our slaves, okay. They're going to be working for us would have wives and concubines, you know, we're going to have our own lands, plant our own vines, and this is what is riches, man. We're going to have gold. Our, 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 our houses will be built with, with gold and precious stones, you know. That is what is riches, you know. We're going to rule the whole world, you know. We're going, to, we're going to rule, you know. Anyone that goes out of these laws are going to be judged, you know, condemned immediately. This is blessings, man. There is no blessing in this place where Esau gives you some amount of money in your credit card and once you mess up and you, you do things against his will, it's going to turn you off. Can't you see these artists are dying lately? This oh. is Luke chapter 6 verse 25. Woe unto you that are rich, that are full. Sorry. Woe unto you that are full, for you shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for you shall mourn and weep. Can. Um, the, the other apostle Gaba always speak about the consolation, you know, many Jakes, they yeah. have their consolation in this place, you know, they've been consoled already, they have their consolation, so they are going to partake of the destruction that is coming, you know, they live, they live, they live, they live deliciously, you know, under the, under the umbrella of Esau, and what they live, they are, at the end of the day, if they are wise enough, they know they are not really living deliciously, you know, they are getting, you know, bigger crumbles from under the table of Esau. A we that we don't we don't we don't fall for for we don't fall for him you know we get just particles that fall from his table you know 
So keep reading if you have things. To yeah, add. like like my brother said, you know, he was, he was last time I speak to him, he, he told me that he, he have already booked appointment to go and take the juice. You know, the juice. You know, upon everything I've try my best you know to stop him to tell him about this thing but he doesn't care because why he was asking me how am i going to do this how am i going to do this how am i going to pay for my house rent you know i told him this is this is why you need to repent don't worry about those things because i told him earlier that you know when the time comes our our god put will serve you know will save us he will he will he will protect us you know he will give us all those things which we need you know, so but now he have no choice. He have already booked his appointment with the hospital to go and take the juice. You know, so this is it. So anyway, um, just like he's saying, you know, he's putting his trust in Esau. Yeah. If you keep reading that chapter thirty-one, you know, we're going to get to the point. Isaiah thirty-one. You know, yeah, like he's putting yeah, his yeah, trust like in Esau, so and him. Esau is just a man, 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 and he's the vilest of all men that you can put your trust in, man. This is foolishness to those who put their trust in Esau. Man, they put their trust in the worst, in the worst being created. It, 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 it is way better to put your trust